Girls, 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 we're starting the video. Oh, <laughs> hey guys, it's Diana from Tiny Devotions. <laughs> and KB from KTheBee.com. We are here and we're going to be answering your questions about mala beads. We started this last month and we had so many questions that we've come back. And we're chilling with the Buddha today. Say hey. He's, uh, he's loving life right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so hit me with these questions. All right. The first question is a popular one. It comes from Nancy who asks, I was wondering about the number of beads in a mala. What is the significance of the number 108? Okay. I've probably been asked this question a thousand and eight times. Seriously. <laughs> okay. So the, the deal with 108, um, there are literally 108 reasons why 108 is an auspicious number. There are 108 deities, um, 108 gopis. You've probably done 108 sun salutations before in yoga. Yep. So that stems from this all as well. Um, it's also mathematical. It has a lot to do with the distance of the sun um, and, and its diameter. Um, there are also 108 uh, sins or temptations that you need to, to cross um, to enlightenment. So those are just a few of the reasons why we do 108 um, beads on every mala. Just a sacred good luck number. This one comes from Judy. I've noticed yogis and yoginis wearing more than one set of your gorgeous mala bead necklaces. I was wondering, speaking of, ah. <laughs> is it okay to wear more than one mala around your neck? And does it double or even triple the energy that each specific mala bestows when you wear two or more? Great question. Um, I don't usually wear two. I usually wear one, but it's more of a personal preference thing. KB, as you can see, she's wearing two. She is wearing the turquoise ocean mala. So that's for communication, healing, and balance in lapis. And again, it's is it more of a personal preference that you've chosen to wear two? Yeah, I think so. I just like, I don't know. I just, I like the feel of two. She likes the feel of two. <laughs> again, I wouldn't be overanalyzing what happens if you wear two malas. Um, the one thing I've heard is that having excessive crystals can be problematic. But I mean, excessive would be hundreds. So unless you're wearing hundreds of mala beads, I wouldn't be too concerned. I think it's fine. If, if you feel comfortable wearing two, you can combine two different energies. Um, this is another question, but I think it kind of fits in. People also ask me, can I only use one mantra on my mala beads? Mala beads are, uh, are a bundle of contradictions. I've heard this before, but most people will tell you that you can, you can change your mantra on a daily basis. I would just follow your heart and follow your intuition and, and do whatever feels right. But yes. If you would like to wear two mala beads, feel free to wear two mala beads. <laughs> she asked another popular question. How often should you clean your mala beads? Great question. It all depends on what you're doing with your mala beads, who you're around with your mala beads, who touches your mala beads. Um, what mala beads do is they transmute energy. So if you're really, really stressed out and you're wearing your mala beads and touching your mala beads, you're, you're taking that energy, that negative energy, that stressful energy, and you're putting it in your mala beads. So if I was really stressed out and was holding my mala beads or wearing them, I would probably choose to cleanse them then. However, um, if, you, if you've been using them just for your meditation practice and you feel like you've built up a lot of this really great energy, I wouldn't be too concerned about cleansing them. So there's not really an answer to that. There's not like a, a schedule you need to be on where you need to clean, cleanse your mala beads weekly or, or monthly. You kind of have to figure it out for yourself and just kind of feel like, you know, all right, I think it's time. Just follow your intuition and, and kind of listen to your heart when it comes down to that one. And Sarah asks, what is the most inspiring modern story you have heard of the power of mala beads? Oh, cool. This is such an amazing story. Um, this lovely woman in Switzerland had received um, a rose quartz mala from one of her friends. And rose quartz, although is also the stone of love and the heart chakra, um, is also a good stone for infertility. And the intention behind this mala when it was given was to help her friend conceive. Um, she'd been trying for a really long time and was having a lot of problems and was really upset by it. So anyways, I knew that this was the intention for this mala when I sent it out. And um, a few months later, um, I, I was actually, uh, I got a phone call. And uh, it was from Switzerland. And there was a girl on the phone crying. And um, she was crying and she had actually received this mala and she actually did conceive and she became pregnant. So, and, and yeah, she had told me that, yeah, I thought it was really beautiful. It was magical. And she told me that she had worn this mala every single day and, you know, prayed with it and, and used it to help her intention. And it came true. So that was, to me, the most beautiful story that I've heard um, awesome. about our mala beads. How cool. This is from Tabitha. 
I was wondering if you think yoga may help me with my headaches. I get very bad migraines that last up to five days. Do you think yoga is a good way to help me? I know nothing about it and I don't know where to start. Money is tight, so doing it at home is a must. Can you lead me in the right direction? Yes, um, as soon as you read that question, I knew exactly what to answer. And my answer is Yoga Glow. Um, yoga Glow! Yoga Glow is amazing. <laughs> Um, Tabitha, just based on what you said, the fact that you don't have a, a lot of money to go out and join a, you know, maybe a costly studio, Yoga Glow for $18 a month, um, from your own home, you can, you can stream, like, I don't even know how many classes are on there. There's so many amazing classes. There's Hundreds. meditations. Um, I'm right now in love with Harshada Wagner's meditations. Like they are the best thing ever. Um, so inspiring. And again, you can do this on your own schedule. There's like 30 minute classes, one hour classes. It's a really, really great way. And the best part about it as well is the, the caliber of teachers. Um, you can do a lot of Brower's class. You can do Catherine Budig's class. Some of the best teachers in the world, like Noah Maez, yep. um, is on there. You can do some of the most amazing teachers in the world right from your home. And to take it back a step, will it help your headaches? Absolutely. I also suffer from migraines and I find if, you know, if I'm too much in my head, if I'm not enough in my body, if I'm not doing things like yoga, you know, you're, you're probably thinking too much and stressing too much. So doing yoga will help you get into your body, will help you relax, de-stress, and uh, will definitely be very beneficial for your health. So yeah, check out Yoga Glow. We love Yoga Glow. And we're actually headed to Yoga Glow in June. Yep. So we're excited. We're going to be weeks. there. We are going to be there, and we're going to be doing yoga in Yoga Glow. Yes. Pretty on June 7th, right? June 7th, yes. So and meet us at Yoga Glow on June 7th, everybody. And Catherine Budig actually will be teaching a class at Yoga Glow, and we'll also be doing a trunk show for Tiny Devotions, um, 4 p.m. at Yoga Glow. So, yeah, see you there. Um, feel free to send in your questions at any time. We're going to be doing this um, lots. We're going to try to answer everyone's questions about mala beads. So as they come to you, send us an email, and uh, hope to see you next time. We got to finish our meditation. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>